What's going on ladies and gentlemen welcome back to a new video guys today I got a nice video for you guys if you guys are interested in Modifying and updating your car to look five years newer These are some of the things that you are gonna want to do first thing We're gonna go ahead and do is go ahead and get our headlights polished I'll show you guys a quick little video of what the headlights look like before and uh, we're gonna go ahead and Take it to my friend Jose. He's gonna go ahead and polish them for us Honestly, one thing I've really noticed about cars, the headlights, when they get oxidized, it makes the car look so much older. And that is definitely something we want to avoid. So we're gonna go ahead and get those polished. And then we got a few other things for you guys in this video. So stay tuned, check it out. Let's go ahead and jump right into it. Alrighty guys, so as you guys saw, we got the headlights polished. So if you remember before, they were pretty hazy on this side specifically. My boy Jose went ahead and polished up these headlights. This one's looking really good and so is this one. Um, eventually down the road, I do plan on going with some nice aftermarket headlights, custom built OEM aftermarket headlights, I should say. So they will be using the OEM housing and everything. Just the internals will be aftermarket. Eventually we're going to be doing that. But for now, the polished headlights are looking good. And over here, I got my boy Junior. You guys will have seen him from some old, old videos uh, back when I had my F30. He tinted my F30 and he is here at the shop today tinting the M3. What are we doing over here? Get this M3 looking right because without tint, it looks like a fishbowl. We got to <laughs> yeah guys it was looking like a fishbowl uh he already has the tint placed on here he already cut it so he's already done quite a bit and we are going with five percent in the back just so that we get that nice blacked out look that's kind of what we're going for with this car we're gonna make it look really nice five percent that is the crazy difference i'll go ahead and show you guys before of what it kind of looked like versus now so once this is fully complete this is gonna look really really nice but yeah let's go ahead and get some nice footage for you guys Alrighty guys, the tint is complete. We got 5% tint on the back windows and on the front windows, we haven't done anything yet. Possibly in the future, we might get some on the fronts, but for now, the rears are tinted at 5% and honestly, it is looking so, so good. That tint right there looks really good. So very, very happy. Shout out to Junior for doing the tint. I'll leave his Instagram down below. So definitely go check him out if you guys need tint in the Sacramento area. Like I said, I appreciate you, bro. All you have to do is just hit up Junior Custom Cars. Like you said, I'll leave the Instagram and let me know. He does house calls too, because look it, we're in the shop today, guys. And he came out here, did the tints for Noor's M3 wagon, and then for my NA2 M3. So next up, we're gonna be doing some LCI tail lights. Alrighty guys, it is the next part of the video and we are finally, finally, finally installing LCI taillights. I know I've only had the car for like two, three weeks now, but these taillights have got to go. So right now we got the pre-LCI taillights on the car. They're not terrible, but obviously if I can get LCIs, I'm gonna get LCIs. And then I went ahead and got these LCIs. So we actually got this off of one of our parts cars over here at Natty Auto Parts. Nice little set of taillights. I went ahead and got the retrofit connectors. Can't remember if, if it's for the inners or the outers. I think it's for the outers. We went ahead and got the wiring harness, the retrofit wiring harness from BMW. So we're gonna go ahead and install that in this video. I'm gonna quickly just install these. I already have a video showing how to do it and I will link that down below right now. So if you guys wanna see how to install these, there's a video for that already. But this one, we're just going to quickly throw them on and uh, show you guys what it looks like on the M3. So I'm very, very excited to get rid of these pre-LCI taillights and get on those LCI taillights. So let's go ahead and knock it out. Alright guys, and just so you can see the difference, this is the pre-LCI, it has the lines like this, it has the white strip as well as this little white strip right here, and then on this one, it has the nice LEDs up top, and then only has one small white strip for the reverse light, and then it has a nice little different like curvature, whereas this one is just straight across. So just so you guys know, that is the difference between the LCI and the pre-LCI, pre-LCI, LCI, that's the difference between them. 
And then guys, this is what the retrofit harness looks like. So you can go ahead and get these from BMW or any online BMW retailer. So I'll go ahead and throw up the part numbers for you guys so you guys can see what I'm talking about. Uh, but yeah, these are all that you need to uh, actually go ahead and get the LCI tail light installed. So let's go ahead and install these real quick. Hey guys, we just got the first side on and wow, to be honest, the LCI tails look so, so much better. This is gonna honestly make the car look like five years newer, like genuinely, it makes the car look so much better with the LCI tail lights. And there's so many little things that you can do to your car to make it look like it's five years newer. Like just make sure it's polished, make sure the headlights look nice and clean, make sure to update the tail lights and you will literally make your BMW look like it's five years newer. If you guys are looking to uh, modify your car and uh, update the look of it, honestly, LCI tail lights are one of the best ways to go about it. All right, guys, time to test to see if these ones work like this. Hey, let's go. Guys, check that out. Got this nice LCI tail lights on there now. Honestly, it's it's crazy how much the tail lights actually update the car. Now that we got these on though, I'm gonna go ahead, button up everything, make sure everything's good to go, get some nice B-roll for you guys. And then we got one more thing we gotta do. We gotta end up replacing the uh, one of the halo bulbs on the headlights after we get that done. This car is pretty much, there's a few other little things obviously, but uh, yeah, let's go ahead finish buttoning this up and then swapping out that headlight bulb. All right guys, when I first got the car, it came with this AFE power intake. I ended up having to take this off to pass smog. So now that we pass smog, I'm gonna go ahead and throw this back on and take off this stock one that I have on the car. Alrighty guys, we got the AFE intake on now, and then we went ahead and swapped out those bulbs. So now both sides are working. I'll show a video of this side not working, and then this side working, but now they are both working, so that is good. I do plan on getting custom built headlights, like I had for my white 335. Uh, I'm gonna go with a little bit different style, but uh, anyways, regardless, for now, glad that we finally replaced those headlight bulbs. So those are good now. Um, this car is slowly coming together. Last thing I need to do before I can start properly, properly going crazy on this thing is raw bearings. And that is up next. And maybe a spoiler as well. I'm thinking about going with the M Performance. I forgot to tell you guys that I did take this off um, because that one I did not care for too, too much. It does look pretty naked though in the back. So we definitely need some, some type of spoiler. And I'm thinking about going with the M Performance style. So we might try doing that here soon. But for the meantime, the new tail lights are in, headlight bulbs are done, and then we also went ahead and polished the headlights in this video, as well as getting tints done. So we got a lot of stuff done on this car. So yeah, let's go ahead and get some nice B-roll for you guys. Let's go drive it around, uh, see how it is. I'll catch up with you guys in just a second. Right, guys and that is the end of the video so uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this quick video of how to update the look of your car at least five years we went ahead had the headlights polished as you guys can see and then we also got the tints on the back done honestly it gives it a nice blacked out look kind of updates the car makes it look a little bit modern and then the biggest thing that we did was install the LCI tail lights. So these LED tail lights definitely made the car look a lot, a lot newer. So these are just a few of the things that you can do to update the look of your car, and make your car look quite a bit newer, as well as modifying your car. So these LCI tail lights honestly look phenomenal. Very happy with how they look. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this quick video. I'm gonna go ahead and end it right here. Make sure to check me out on Instagram. Make sure to subscribe down below if you guys enjoy this type of content. With all that being said though, remember stay safe, stay happy, and stay in that project car. I'll catch you guys later.
contact. 